Hello there, everyone. This is Mama Neff from Partlow Art, and I hope everyone is well out there. Wanted to take time to briefly share my response to a recent question about how I go about creating shows and art exhibits. And I hope this information will be useful, especially for artists who are considering creating an art show and art exhibit for the very first time. Um, first thing I would say is choose a subject or topic or thematic focus that you really love, that you feel passionately about. In my recent bookmaking exhibit, Dosa Do 2, with the fabulous artist and friend Jenny O'Grady, we focused in on the topic of our friendship as a celebration of bookmaking art. And we focused on, you know, looking at conversations over the last hmm, four or five years and all that's going on in the country, you know, with such political, racial, cultural divide. We wanted to celebrate a friendship that's grown out of our mutual love of each other, as well as our love of each other's art. And so we started there, and I'm using that as an example. And um, the show just evolved and grew out of that, you know? And then we started to consider the pieces that we wanted to include in the show that spoke to and informed that topic, that celebration of a friendship. And I have this up on the screen, by the way, there's a wonderful podcast we did with the amazing Pam Uzel around art that heals and art that heals all wounds and the power of everyday artists and makers of things please uh, come to the website and check out that podcast. So you get an idea of what I'm talking about when you focus on um, a topic or you have a thematic focus for a show that you feel passionately about and so much grows out of that. Um, the next thing I would say, once you have that focus, then um, choose pieces that tell that story as well as pieces that will engage your audience and and show them some of your technique, your method, your process, your creative process. Jenny and I both love making books out of just anything. Uh, years ago, when we were students in the uh, MFA program at the University of Baltimore, the creative arts and publishing, creative writing and publishing arts program under the direction of Kendra Kopelke, uh, we really fell in love with the idea as Kendra invited us to explore that books can be anything you want it. And so we just began to make books out of conventional and unconventional materials. Um, here is accordion book. I love the accordion book format and just using all kinds of things to make it uh, stand out and tell a story. Um, Jenny and I both love books that are sculptural. And so this is one of my first box poems. It's actually a poem that's written outside, but the whole composition is the poem itself. The poem, the words of the poem inform, you know, the wood and the pieces that are selected here. There's a piece of crystal in there. This uh, piece here is one of my first one page books. I wanted to create a series of just one page. I just had something to say on one page. And so here's this piece. This actually was, began as a piece of floor tile that I couldn't figure out. I didn't want to throw it away but I knew I wanted to use it for something. And you know, found this glittery paper and then created a story that was really a milestone moment in my life and this is with beads and embroidery. So that's a one page book. Um, there's another um, box poem. Um, this is my first venture into a pop-up book using acetate. So, you know, you scroll through just these few pieces on the website and you get an idea of all of the different ways that um, a book may appear and ways in which I approach making books. Um, and I'll probably need to make another video on that, my process as well. So yeah, those two things, focus in on something that you really love and then select pieces that speak to that, that tell the story of that thematic focus, that focal point. And that also says something about your technique and your method, your ways of making things. Um, these pieces from the show, which closed last month are now a few of these pieces are on sale on the website. So please check it out and you know buy some art 
for the holiday if you're in a gift giving mood. And yeah, and we'll be back soon to have another conversation to share more art. In the meantime, take care of yourselves and happy holiday. Bye.